I think the two two power key is probably more important. But there's there's definitely there's definitely something there. There's definitely something. I like it. I like it a lot. But yeah, the cross switch is huge. What's he? YouTube audience be like, this is my first video. Why is he yelling at his cat? You've had some people popping up who are noobs asking cues about the game, so I think some explainy content would be good. James, I don't think you can just call people noobs. I think it's their word. <sighs> I played like two, three games with the X Switch list, plus some changes. It just doesn't feel that good. It's okay, Moto. You're just not as good at playing the game as me. That's fine. But also, I was in a bad mood yesterday. <laughs> Oh no, it's electric deck shit. <laughs> Don't pull out the Palkia. Don't pull out the Palkia. So, almost guaranteed to be my on, unless they're one of those crazy Luxray players. My god, three mulligans in this economy? I joke, but we can't afford that. This is a nice start, though. Big Pog on campus. Excuse me, you can't run a comp favor electric energy. Are you drunk high? You got drunkitis? Um, is two fridge backs the answer here? I think fridge backs and a Greninja. If we have the energy, we do have the energy. We also got the moves. Cross switches are usually poggers, but they do feel sometimes like cloggers. I think the Iridum makes like a huge difference on that front. Very nice. Also, uh, Kay found that joke very funny. <laughs> she enjoyed that. Well, they do like me and usually... And they do like me and use totally random sleeves to throw off my opponent. I mean, I do that too. I just find it disrespectful. <laughs> right, what's the likelihood of us getting KO'd in the first turn? I'm going to say low. And do I want to give them Pokestop this early? I don't think we do. I think we save Pokestop until we want it. And potentially to, like, knock a beach court or something. Again, talking about, like, developing skills and things like that. Knowing when to use stadiums. Big one. And one of my favorite things to do with stadiums is uh, use path to stop Maridon setting up and then immediately being counter stadiumed. That's pretty fun. That seems to be how most of them go. They're definitely running electric. So this is probably Turbo, which will be Dragonite and Raikou. Raikou. Maybe one of those people. Having said that, we're not seeing one of their attackers yet. I mean, Cramorant's an attacker, but Raikou. Man, dude, don't get me started. The commentators for Pokemon streams make me want to shoot things. It's just so annoying. <laughs> I hit mute, by the way. It didn't actually mute. It pressed like it muted and then unmuted. So I'm sorry for the schnuffle. Um, but yeah, it's just actually infuriating. Like, hearing them go... Um, the guy hit there with the Raikou for the bench damage. It's like, it's Raikou. As in Haiku. I, I don't understand... So we need um, um, rare candy. I'd like to hit that off the Pokestop so we can use the Iono. Is that hand quite scary? Don't like that hand. Uh, let's do a Lost Box Soul Read. Uh, use Confei, throw whatever away, pick up the Cramorant, take a 110 on the Champau. What the hell, stream? Have you seen this game before? They've thrown a boss, a rod, a vacuum, and an Iono. They're going for the double play. They must have a switch in hand. They're turboing the deck, but with nothing to turbo to. That's a right hand? Yep. Or a Raikou? <laughs> in before they think they can manually attach to retreat. Excuse me? What? Oh, okay. They are getting rid of it, but <laughs> what? We're dealing with actual psychopaths? Oh, wow. Yeah, no fair play. You got me, though. Wait, do they? They can't manually attach. They must have them in the Mirage Gate. If they don't, that's the biggest misplay of 2024. You can do some damage to Radiant Greninja. <laughs> they misplayed. Very funny. Very poggers. 
we go. We shouldn't be laughing. We're not in a good position. Um, let's conceal some cards. That's not the rare candy. Rare candy? Ooh, that's rough, dude. Um, I'm going to give you a Kurem. Then I'm going to Iono. It's Koo or possible Koo Woo. Definitely not Cow. We really had to figure out what you were going on about then. <laughs> wow, we got nothing off that, huh? Okay. Um, I want another Palky down. It's likely we lose the Greninja so we can at least get that started for next turn. That sucks. We also didn't even hit a Manaphy. So we're probably going to lose two Fridgebacks here off the, uh, the Radiant Greninja. Yeah, this is a busted game for us. If they don't hit Mirage Gate or Water Energy, I'd be very surprised. Dragonite going in? Okay. Yeah, there's Mirage Gate. That's annoying. We saw two Battle of the IP passes on turn two. There's not a lot we can do about that. <laughs> That's just bad luck. Wow, they're really committing to the Greninja play, huh? This is the annoying thing, right? We didn't have the Palkia to, um... The Palkia V to play down. If we had that, we could at least get into the game, but... We didn't even have that available. You gotta take out both the Fridgebacks. Yeah. What a fool! The Radiant Greninja lives! <laughs> I was about to say, we can return fire, but we can't. <laughs> if we can get the Curum into position, though. Because I did feel like the Curum might help with the Lost Box matchup. It would just suck to do 120 damage to this. It just, it's just nothing. We can take a knockout, though. Really. Two left in deck. We didn't even have a lot. Available to play with. Seven in total? Sucks. Yeah, it's annoying we didn't hit the rack and do. We had two opportunities too and we just missed them. Uh, Ultra Ball away, Bidoof and Vip. Grab ourselves a Curum VMAX. Grabbing Palky probably was the right answer there, but. As the kids would say, we out here. Well, that sucked. Uh... We just got the hail blade. What are the odds? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a loss. Raikou Wu. <laughs> Steve. Don't you mean Radiant Jeff? It's okay. We want to play from behind. How this deck works best. Nah, man, he's. I'm. I'm, I'm cooked. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. There was. There's definitely better decisions to have been made. <laughs> we. Uh, we certainly aren't getting a win here. Maybe if we can get a Palkia going. Maybe, but unlikely. Be a nest ball. That's uh, not a nest ball. Fucking another Irida! God damn! Oh, that is just brutal. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I think we just concede at this point because, like, there's no way. Very energy retrieval. Does that, does that do anything for us? Not really. Pulls the energy back, but it, like, you know. Why? The Batscalibur Dream's dead. Let's just quietly start powering up the Curum and hope they don't notice. <laughs> That's the play. Uh, 
Let's make sure uh, Lost Box can't hurt anybody anymore. <laughs> I'll be putting Bloke Stop can't hurt anybody anymore. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's a way to like get a, a sneaky glaciated world playoff at this point, but I don't think there. What, is, what do we have? Like seven energy to play with out of like ten? So three are prized. Which really sucks. You got them right where you want them. Exactly. They're never going to expect a Kieran play. What, they see a Kieran in VMAX on the bench and they're going to like think about that being a potential damage dealer? Silly. Oh no. Uh, uh, take my other Chen power, I guess? I imagine the D. The Going up to like 10 now, aren't they, for the thingy play? <laughs> Shampo lives! <laughs> Let's go! Imagine if they didn't get rid of the Sky Seal Stone, right? They could take out this VMAX and win. Pretty embarrassing, could you imagine? The actual scenes. Shampo live, Shampo live. Ultra Ball, finally we can get a Manaphy going. Don't knock anything out so they can't put anything better up. A smart play. So we need four. We don't need cancelling cologne here, do we? We cross switch up the mana fee, then power up the radiant grenade. Okay, okay, there's a potential play here. Okay. Um nah, there's not. No. No, I'm being silly. I'm being silly. Cancelling Cologne wouldn't get us wouldn't get us there. But I've kept it anyway just in case. <laughs> a bold move, Cotton, let's see if it pays off. Such a weird player. There's no Palkia! No, it's in the prizes too. Okay, bought plant, it's not gonna work. We can't attach to Cure in this turn. Gem power probably goes down. Place it well for shits and shigs and gigs. Of course, the boss's orders. We didn't need one of those, so. <laughs> this is so bad. I mean, a one save line on the board, like, clears me, so. Escape rope in this economy? Sure, I'll have a cure him. We take three prize cards with this Kyurem at best. <laughs> it's fine. Three prize cards that magically take three more out of nowhere? They'll never expect it. I mean, if we take down the Crammer, at least we have some potential to survive, but, like, not really. Man, really huffing that Copium, huh? If we hit the Palkia, we're actually in, like, an interesting position. If we if we can hit the Palkia, we can power up the Radiant Greninja and then take two prize cards that way. Like, cross-switch up the mana for you. Um, Radiant Greninja, take out both Confe, cripple their search. Not both, there's three. They only have two left as well, so there's going to be five in their deck. How likely is it they run Kyurem? A Kyurem, Kyogo. That seems unlikely. Four escape ropes, two switches, switch carts. No switches, actually. Two switch carts there. They're not running actual switches, they're out of options. One jet energy. They are having to manual retreat. Interesting. Yeah, I think we keep the cross switcher for the uh, potential play later. There's a very funny situation where they deck themselves out, actually. Ooh, another cross witcher. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. Um, I don't think there's any point in concealing cards right now. We may as well just go for the Max Frost. Let's just see if we can do anything, basically. Here comes a Dragonite to knock me out. They lost zone to Dragonite, didn't they? They may have a second. I've seen people run too. How many Mirage Gates have they used? Three. 
They still, they still probably have a Mirage Gate. You know what? If they've got no way to put things back in their deck, they may actually deck out before they can take all their knockouts. Mm, no, I think they could have Sableye. I think. I think they could save a life. That's just rude. Switcher. With an extra energy in hand to retreat. What are they hoping to hit with this? They haven't used an energy recycler yet, have they? Don't know if this deck runs energy recycler. They have to win the game here. Do they? Empire's got 130 health. The other one's got 20. They take three prize cards here. If they haven't got a recycler, they've just decked themselves out. Sometimes you realize the win condition before your opponent does. <laughs> we didn't even need the Palkia. I love the fact that, like, mathematically, even with two prize cards left in their deck, I don't think they could take the knockout. Because if we take, took out the Sableye, they'd use two Super Rods already. There's no way they, they'd bring it back. They wouldn't use Clara as well, I don't think. 